My name is Anna Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will solve problems with autocompletion on websites. It goes like this. We have a robot that needs to type in a destination in the from here. And we could, for example, type in just Delhi, India. So the robot will just type in Delhi, then India, and then it will move to the next field. So, uh, and here I can just type in Bangalore, India. Now I click search, and then we can see that we have a problem here. This is not good, because we need to search for something, and then we need to click it down here. And how do we create a robot that can do this? This is what this video is about, and it was a question from Nissant. So let's create that for him. I uh, created a spreadsheet here with uh, city, country, and IATA. IATA is um, a unique identifier for the airport. So if we got this IATA code, then we can create the workflow a little bit more easy. But I will show you a solution where we got the IATA and a solution where we only got the city and country. So let's do that. I will close this Excel sheet down and then I'll move to UiPath. First, we need to read the Excel sheet. So I find a read range from the workbook activities drag this guy in. The workbook path, I placed mine on a desktop. So we just choose the data here, like this. We'll read from sheet one, that's the name, and we will just read everything, so we'll delete this. Then we will output it to a data table, so press Control k DT, and we can just call it DT data. So now we see here that we stored it in the variable section, DT data, and that is a data table. So far, so good. Now we can iterate through each row of the data table. And remember, a data table is just a mirror of the Excel sheet. So it looks exactly the same, except that it is a data table. So we find a for each row. And this goes through each row one by one. So drag it in here for each row in. And that's just a data table that we just created up here, DT data, like this. Now uh, mark the body. Go down to variables again. We will create a help variable here, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'll just call it str eata, and that is the eata code that we get from the Excel sheet. So we're still in this, with the scope of body. We go over here, and to call this for each of the rows, it is row, that's the current row, item, that's the column, and the column name was eata, like this, and then dot to string. You can use the auto completion, like this. Because what we want to do here is that we first need to set the text. We will use the IATA code for each of the two cities. So we will find a set text. Uh, set text here. Drag this guy in. First, we need to indicate where we want to uh, type it in. We want to set the text here. What do we want to uh, type in? We want to type in the string that we just created here that is the current eata code so we can do it for each of the city so that is just the str eata which is again row item eata to string so now when we have um, type in the eata for example at copenhagen that's cph then we want to click on the corresponding eata code down here well, let me delete this and what we'll do here is that we will now, let me have the CPH here, go back to UI path, and then we need to click. So, search for a click, it's here, drag it in, and we'll indicate it on the screen. So we want to click CPH now, but we will make it dynamically, so it will both work for Copenhagen and Delhi. And of course, all the other cities that we could um, put in in our Excel sheet. But what we want to do is that we want to click the three ribbons. Now we make it dynamic. So click edit the selector. And here we can see that that is the, we can just drag it a little bit out. You can see that this is the identifier for the city. So if we mark this and then we right click, and now we can choose a variable. So instead of using this static CPH, we can choose a variable. And that's what's quite clever because we just had the str eata. So we will drag that in. And now we can see that we use it here. So we click OK. And let me have a message box. So after each row, we will have a break so we can see that the robot actually do what we want it to do. So message box. And that will just be a blank message box uh, staying a break. Let me uh, go 
to blank here. I don't think it matters anyway, but uh, let's do this and let's start the robot. So we click run the file. Now we uh, set the text CP8 and we can see that we now we clicked uh, the CP8 and we got the city right with the CP8 in parentheses. Then we can go on and that is the next row, that is Delhi. So I click OK here, Delhi. And now we can see that we actually did that as well. That was with the EADA code. That's what's the easiest way. So now we will create the solution where we only got the city and the country. So now let's just finish the robot, go to the web page and make it blank again. So now we only got the city and the country. And the city, that could be, that was for our first row, that was Copenhagen and then Denmark. So we, what we want to do is that we want to set the text so we have the city, then a comma, a blank and then the country first. And then we can click on something. So we go to our uh, UI path again. Let me just uh, blank this out here. We don't need these two. I think I'll let them be. So when you download the workflow files, if you want that, you can find them in the description. I'll just have these one as well. So I'll disable this. I will collapse it and I will comment out, disable this as well. And I'll collapse it. So now we are ready. The first thing is that we need to create a variable from the city because we will use that in a selector in a moment. So click variables and we want to um, have it like we did here with the str eada. So here we will say str city like this, and we will just create it in the, in the same syntax as the eada. So that is row item. And then we will say uh, city like this, and then to string. So now we created that variable. Let us do, go out again. First, we will have a set text just as before. So set text, we'll drag it in, and we will indicate where we want to set the text. We want to set the text right here in this field. And what do we want to set? We want to set first, we want to remember, we wanted to, we wanted to have the city, comma, blank, and then the country. So let's create that, that the robot should do that. So that will be str city, and then plus, then we, we wanted a comma and a blank, and then uh, we will have the country and we can just uh, use the row item country to refer for the, to the country column to string like here. So now we, we did this and we can see that if we just use Copenhagen again, Copenhagen, Denmark, then we can uh, click. And uh, this one will be a little bit accurate when we don't have uh, any identifier because we can see that there is two Copenhagen, Denmark. So it will click the first, that will be the most relevant. So in case you don't have the airport name Copenhagen Airport or Ruskiller, we will take the first one. And if we have the airport, we will just click on this. But um, let us go back to UI path and then we will find a click drag this guy in and we will indicate where we want to click. So we want to click here on the city. So now we clicked here and we will need to edit the selector again. So click the three ribbons and click edit the selector. Now we can see here that we got an AA name Copenhagen and then we want a comma and a blank. And this one will be for every each one of their AA names. So take only the city. So not the comma and the blank. Then we right click on it and then we want to choose variable. We created the str city for that, so click OK. So now we created a dynamic selector once more here. And we could, uh, let me just reset this. I don't think it matters, but uh, let's just have a blank side because that's what we do when we open up the robot. So now we can run the robot. So I click run file. First, we will. Um, type in Copenhagen, Denmark, and then click on the right airport. We saw that here. Then we'll uh, see if we can do it for Delhi as well. And we solved it. That's it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.